those of us with interest in developing finite element tools for structural analysis. This is going to show us how to create a simple beam model and plot its shear force and bending moment diagram using a Python lightweight library called Plain Sections. This library is created by CS Bloom, which is built upon OpenSysPy. So, this Plain Section library has four core modules which you have to understand. The first is the Builder module, which is used to create the beam and beam element. The second is the Analysis module, which is used to analyze the beam using OpenSea.py and document the result. The third is a diagram module, which is used to plot the beam module. And the fourth is the post process module, which is used to plot the response of the beam. Okay, this is the beam we are going to be modeling and plotting its shear force and bending moment diagram. So as you can see, we have a beam spanning up to 25 meters length. We have two support conditions at A and B. We have uniformly distributed load, which is one kilonewton per meter spanning from A to E, which is 10 meters. And then we have two point load, which is at D and C, two kilonewton and three kilonewton respectively. So the first thing we are going to do is to install our plain section library. And this is the command using pip install plain sections. So we are going to run it. And I've already installed the library. So maybe you doing it for the first time is going to take it some time before it finishes. So the second thing is for us to, Im to import the plain sections as PS, or you can name it as anything you like but this is how the convention that I use. So we are also uh, importing the plot diagram class from the plane section dot core. So the next thing is to define the node locations and support conditions. So I define the length of the beam here in a variable, which you can see. So we are going to instantiate or create a beam object using the new ELA beam 2D method. And we are going to pass the length of our beam that we have created as the argument. So as you can see, I've instantiated a beam class here. And this is the command. So after that, we are going to uh, set fixity or set the or define the support conditions of the beam so as you can see this is like a legend or a, or, or a or a map of how you can define different um support conditions in plane sections so as you can see for free is zero 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 for roller is zero one zero for pin is one one zero and for fix is one 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 so we are, we are defining pin since, as you can see from our diagram, our support is pin, both at A and B. So we are using the 110. So we are defining the fixity now of the beam from point zero or distance zero, it's pin. So that is at this position A, since the distance here is zero. So it is pin. And then for the second support condition, that is B. So you can see which is here. So we are multiplying uh, the length that is 25 meters by 0 0.8, which is going to give you 20 meters. And it is pin also. So when, when you see from the origin, that is from A, which is 10 plus 5 plus 5, which is 20. So that is what we did here. 
So we define our load. So this shows us that the load is acting downward, which is negative 1000 or is the same thing as one kilonewton. So beam, so what we are doing here is we are adding the various labels, how the beam was being labeled. So this add label method, we are passing the first argument as the position or the distance of where the label is going to be positioned on the beam. So for label A, it's at position or distance zero. So as you can see, it is here, here is the origin, so it is zero. Then from beam.add label, that's the second one, label E, which is 10 meters. When you look at E from the origin, that is from A, it is 10 meters. Then for the next thing, we are adding the vertical load. So for the first vertical load, which is at distance 15 from A, so we have two times this load, two times this load, which is negative 2000 or two kilonewton, and it is positioned at label D. So as you can see, this is two kilonewton, which is negative, which the, if you can see the, the load is acting downward. So then the next thing is we are also adding another label, which is B, and the distance is 20 meters from A or from the origin. So the next thing is beam.add vertical load, which is 25 meters. That is the position from, from A, which we are multiplying this by three, which is going to give us 3000 or three or three kilonewton and it is at level C. So as you can see, it is three kilonewton and at level C. So let's, uh, let's run this and let's run this and let's run this then let's run this also. So the next thing is drawing of the beam diagram. So we are using this plot beam diagram class and we are passing the beam object. Because as you know, we have already created our beam, give it all the support conditions and the loadings. So this class is now going to draw our beam diagram or our beam model. So let's see, as you can see, we have drawn our beam model with all the loadings and the support conditions. The next thing or the final thing we are going to do here is to run the analysis. So we are using the ps.opensys analyzer 2D and we are passing the beam object or the beam model here. So when we run it and you can see it has already uh, drawn our sh our shear force. This is our shear force diagram. You can see. And then this is our bending moment diagram also. So these are the two methods that were used to draw the shear force and the bending moment diagram. When you see the argument that we pass, we pass the beam model and then you can change the scale here. You see how it will be able to adjust the scale of the drawings and then the units also, you define the units. So thank you very much for, for watching this video and we hope to bring more of uh, of this finite element method of analyzing structures using Python. We also would like to use uh, some of the parametric uh, techniques that is being brought up recently, like one platform that they just recently released, which is 
called Victor. The link will be in the description below. So thank you very much. Support this channel, subscribe, like, comment, and share so that you can promote STEM education.